Hey what's up all, it's Jono here and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red. And you find me here at a checkpoint gate. Or rather specifically, one of the ways in to Saffron City. And I think it's finally time to finally check out what is going on in Saffron City. Oh that tea, it looks awfully tasty. Yes it does, even though I have been carrying it around for quite some time. Um, yeah, sure you can have this drink. <laughs> lug lug. Gulp. If you want to go to Saffron City, you can go on through. I'll share this tea with the other guards. Alright, so we are finally able to go into Saffron City. Although, admittedly, we could have gone into Saffron much earlier because we got the tea, like, very early. We got the tea in uh, Saladon City, but... I decided I did not want to check out Saffron City until I'd taken care of, you know, Fuchsia City and explored a bit of the Safari Zone and, you know, just explored that part of Kanto. But now that we've done all that, it's finally time to check out Saffron City. And just one thing I want to mention, I've done absolutely no, like, extra training before recording this session, so... It's as, it, as for my Pokemon, it's as they were from the last session. Full heal cures all ailments like burn, paralysis, poisoning, freezing, and sleep. It costs a bit more, but it's more convenient than buying other items. I guess that's true, but I still like to buy, you know, antidotes because they're cheap and most of the time it's poison I'm most worried about. Also, this is not a good sign. Already we're seeing someone from Team Rocket. Ow! Watch where you're walking. I would say I'm sorry, but I know you're crook, so um, based on that, I'm not sorry. Pokemon Trainer Fan Club! Many trainers have scribbled their names on this sign. Well, it's time to add my name to the sign. There we go. Although I'm honestly surprised... Uh, well, I was going to say I'm honestly surprised Gary's name isn't on there, but then again, if it says loads of names, then maybe so. But uh, there we go. Just to make sure I've added my own name to the sign. There we go. Uh, let's actually check it out. Brock's the last word on cool. End of story. Now there's a guy who I want to be like. Good old Brock the Rock. All of us gathered here are fans of Pokemon trainers. The way they look in battle. They are the picture of coolness. Perhaps you'll be talked about here too if you keep winning. Well, we shall see. I wonder if I could become a cool trainer one day. Well, if you keep on believing, you can be. I think trainers are so cool when they're battling. Don't you think so too? I agree. And also, interestingly, no one up here. Although, to be honest, there's definitely something... I don't know, there's definitely something weird going on in Saffron City right now. So we've got someone from Team Rocket, and... Even just looking around, there seems to be no one outside right now. So, something weird is going on in the city. Uh, you're just going to talk about Max Repels, I've already got a few of them. Revive is costly, but it revives fated Pokemon. It may be costly, but it's very much worth it. And besides, money is not an issue for me, thanks to uh, previous, like, off-camera training sessions using the Versus Seeker. <laughs> okay, let's see. Interestingly, you only sell Great Balls, no Ultra Balls. Although, then again, as I said, you could technically get to Saffron City much earlier than I've done in this Let's Play. So that perhaps explains why there's no Ultra Balls here, but still. Got the Revives, the Full Heals, and even the Max Repels, but I don't think I need to buy any right now. Yeah, I've still got like six Revives. I've got 169. Nice. Thousand uh, Poké Dollars there. <sighs> so um, definitely not short on money. But I don't really need to buy anything. In fact, what about selling stuff? Did I pick up anything that's worth selling? Well, I mean, I've got two normal Repels, which I'm probably not going to use, so I might as well. Get rid of them, don't need them. I don't really need the Awakening either because I've got the Poke Flute. So let's sell them, there we go. Uh, I don't want to sell the Tiny Mushroom because I think if I remember seeing a comment rightly, I think they're used for something later on in the game. So I'm not going to get rid of them. I don't really use these, these uh, items that much thinking about it. And I know I really should, so I'm going to keep them for now. Uh, Super Repel. Oh yeah, I've still got a whole bunch of um, stat boosters here, but I kind of want to. I kind of want to hold off from using them for a little bit. 
Uh, just in case. Well, actually, I kind of want to save them when I make a decision on what Pokemon I want to use, like, against the Elite Four later on in the game. So, there's nothing else I need to do, although that's reminded me. Uh, I need to go into my key items and move the Pokeflute much further up the list. It just makes it a bit quicker and easier for me. So, we'll just put that there. Don't really use the town map that often, so we must just put you there. To be honest, I don't really use the item finder that much either, but we'll keep it on for now. Actually, no, you know what? I'm going to register the item finder because we're definitely not going to be fishing right now. So we'll do that. Uh, I don't think there's anything else in the, in the Pokemon right now, so let's have a little wander around. Uh, oh yeah, here we go. Saffron City Pokemon Gin. Leader Sabrina, the master of psychic Pokemon. But unfortunately, we can't do anything right now. Don't get defiant, or I'll have to hurt you. Oh, really? You want to say that in front of, uh, well, I mean, Pikachu can uh, zap you, but I was more thinking, like, do you want me to get Charizard out and um, kick your ass back to wherever you came from? So I will do it. Ah, the Fighting Dojo, which is kind of like the fake gym. And also a gym where if you uh, are successful, you get a new Pokemon. Now, I haven't really thought which Pokemon I'd actually select in terms of my reward, but whatever Pokemon I choose in this uh, quote-unquote gym, uh, I probably won't be using anyway, so it is literally just going to be a random choice. In fact, you know what? We're going to check it out now. Might as well. It's not going to take too long. Also, are these going to be double battles? Because if so, let's make life for these guys very difficult. Also, I just realised I do not need Paris anymore. I don't think we're going to be needing cut anytime soon. So I tell you what, let's just have a little run around. Saffron City, shining golden land of commerce. But it's all full of Team Rocket right now. Boss said he'll take this town and name a Team Rocket. Well, if I had anything to do with it, what do you want? Get lost. Why are you blocking this house? Ah, I could definitely push you. I could push you. Can I use strength on you? <laughs> Uh, nothing there, although, of course, in uh, Generations 2 and 4, this becomes uh, the Magnet Train Station. Another Rocket uh, member blocking a house. Saffron belongs to Team Rocket. Um, well, that's where you're wrong. I'm going to prove you wrong eventually. Try tips. The new Great Ball offers improved catching rates. Try it on those hard-to-catch Pokemon. Oh, wow. You're talking about Great Balls? Like, now? When I've been using them for so long. And I said, admittedly, you can't... I mean, you could have... I, I mean, I could have gotten into... Um, Saffron much earlier in the game. But I wanted to... Uh, wait until much later on. My life as a criminal makes me feel so alive. Uh, my life as a Pokemon trainer who's... Partly dedicated to uh, take on the likes of you. Also makes me feel alive and gives me great satisfaction when I know I'm going to defeat you all so like like I'd be so dominant in the battles that you won't know what's hit you he's taking a snooze oh well that's perfect oh that's a four I wonder I think if I was to arrive in Saffron City early I think this guy would actually block the way into um, Silphco but because we've already taken care of Team Rocket uh, in both Celadon and Lavender Town, I think we can now go in. I could be wrong, but maybe something else stops you from uh, going too far into Silphco. Wait, don't say a word. You wanted this. Ooh, TM29 from Mr. Psychic. And of course, TM29 is Psychic. It's always nice to have, but uh, Kadabra already knows Psychic. Uh, speaking of Kadabra, um, I asked it in a comment uh, a little while ago, but I thought I'd mention it um, again. I probably, unless I could somehow find a way of evolving Kadabra, uh, there's, I'm, I'm probably not going to be evolving Kadabra in this Let's Play. Um, which is a shame, because it would be nice to have an Alakazam, but, you know, I can still, um... 
uh, it would still be great if we could find another way to evolve Kadabra into Alakazam, but yeah, that's the way it goes. If the Elite Four came and stormed to Team Rocket, that would be cool, but you know what? I'm pretty sure I'm a good second option. Sylphco is widely known to all. It's a victim of its own fame. It attracted Team Rocket. Yeah, not really a good sign, is it? Anyway, you know what? Uh, let's just do some Pokemon moves here because we definitely don't need Paris anymore. Uh, who shall we bring? I still haven't decided which Eevee Illusion I want, by the way. So, you might just end up staying as an Eevee forever, I'm afraid, because I just cannot decide what I want to evolve you into. Uh, well, seeing as we're going to take on Team Rocket, uh, oh yeah, and of course I now have two Snorlax. Might be worth bringing... I don't know, I was going to say bring Primate, but considering Team Rocket used mostly Poison-type Pokemon and Zubat and that, probably wouldn't be a good idea. Hypno could be an interesting option, you know, just to take on Team Rocket, but I've already got uh, Kadabra. So maybe I should just take an opportunity to train up some other Pokemon as well, like... You know, why don't I just have some fun? Why don't I bring Ditto with me? I don't know. Although, ooh, actually, I forgot I caught these uh, Water-type Pokemon. I wouldn't mind training up a few more Water-type Pokemon in preparation for the seventh gym, even though I'm pretty sure I am going to get a certain Pokemon when we, uh, while we travel through, um, while we uh, make our way through uh, Sylphco. Hmm. Well, I'm just going to put you here for now, Paris. Yeah, you're only level 19, but, you know, I've got the experience share, and... I think we could potentially train you up a little bit horsey. So, you know what? We're going to train you up a little bit. I might change my mind at some point, but, you know what? For now, while uh, there's not much going on in terms of Pokemon I want to train right now, apart from Dragonair... Mm, actually, I kind of want to prioritise training up Dragonair. You know what? Seeing as we are going to take on Team Rocket, it might be worth it for now just to bring Hypno, so... Sorry, Horsey, sorry for uh, raising your hopes up like that, but I'm just thinking, just to get through this next bit of the story, I'm just going to bring an extra Psychic-type Pokemon with me, just so we can take care of all the Poison-type Pokemon. I don't think I need to heal my Pokemon. No, we're good, so... We're all pretty good, so we could obviously go into Sylphco now, but of course we've got that uh, fake gym, the, the fighting dojo. So we might as well take care of that now, before we head on into uh, that skyscraper. But first of all, let's have a little read. Fighting dojo. Fighting dojo. Okay, fair enough. Right, so is this going to be like a double battle? Like, are both of you going to approach me at the same time, or is it just going to be like one at a time? Let's see. Hoo You're trespassing in our fighting dojo. Oh, that's a shame. It is only uh, one versus one. I was kind of hoping for a double battle, but never mind. Hitoshi, all right. Um, Hitoshi, let's see. Level 31. Yeah. I think we're going to have no problem here. Yeah, as I said, you definitely can get to uh, Saffron much earlier than I have done. But I'm pretty sure you can only get into Sylphco once you've uh, taken care of Team Rocket in both Celadon and uh, Pokemon Tower in Lavender Town. Ooh. Bringing out the Primate to finish you off. There we go. Finishing off the Amazon Primate. There we go. No problem at all for Charizard. Oof, I give up. There we go. Instantly the next fight. I hear you're good. Show me. Oh, were you not convinced from the battle I literally just had? Well, okay. Uh, if that's the way you uh, want, then, uh, then we'll... Uh, I shall prove it to you. Okay, admittedly your matchup is a little bit stronger than the previous person, so that's... Um, I'd like to say good, but at the same time, it's still um, not good news for for you, buddy. Ooh, Machoke, though. Okay, yeah, alright, yeah, Machoke. That's fine. Pretty sure Charizard 
constant wing attack will uh, have no problem. Nice. Sounds on six eight. That's a thought. Who's holding the amulet coin? I think it's P I think Pikachu's holding the amulet coin. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna give it to Charizard for now. I'm pretty much just using you for the time being, because I kind of just want to train up Charizard so I can make you uh, a bit higher level uh, compared to the other team, because I can just use you as, like, like for, like, neutral choices if I don't have a Pokemon that's super effective against an opponent. I think having a, a higher level uh, Charizard could be uh, a decent option. Anyway, level 36 Primate. Interesting. All right. This is more like it. It is very much more like it. Still not good news for Amazon Primate though, but at least that's better. There we go, get a bunch more money. Nice, might as well grab as much money as possible. Take your shoes off. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> but kind of too late now. I mean, you're the fourth person I'm battling against and you're only just saying that now, so... Um, so, um, I'm sorry, I don't know the rules. <laughs> I just, I didn't know the rules. Besides, I'm a Pokemon trainer, not a martial artist. Well, for when I was younger, thinking about it, I did briefly thought about doing some kind of, like, martial arts, like, when I was younger. But I certainly uh, didn't go beyond from just like observing what was going on. I can't remember what I was going to potentially look at. Was it karate or something? I don't know. But I do know one of my, like an old like friend from high school, although I haven't seen him in ages. Like an old friend that I've known from high school. Uh, he used to do quite a bit of taekwondo. If he still does that. Anyway, let's take on the, uh, the master of this gym. Ah, Hitmon Lee, and presumably your other Pokemon will be Hitmon Chan. But this should be no problem for Charizard. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yes, that's um, pretty easy. And there we go, Dragon Air level 33. And yep, sure enough, Hitmonchan. Yeah, no chance at all against a wing attack using Charizard. Nice. I'll have a whole bunch of money. Indeed, I have lost. But I beseech you, do not... Take our emblem as your trophy. In return, I'll give you a prized fighting Pokemon. Choose whichever one you like. Okay, so which one do we take? Question is, which one is which? Is this one Hitmon Lee or Hitmon Chan, or is it the other way around? Well, you know what? As I said, I don't. Really, I, I haven't really thought about how I want to decide which Pokemon I'm gonna take from this gym. Oh, Dojo. But considering I don't really plan on using either of them in battles anytime soon. I'm probably just going to select whichever one. So I'm just going to mash left and right here and whichever one I'm facing, I'll take. Even though I don't know, even though I don't technically know which one's which. I'm going to take a guess and the one on the left is Hitmonlee and that one's Hitmonchan. So, I'm just going to mash the button and it's looking at the screen and we're looking, we're looking that way. Okay. You are Hitmonlee. Alright, we're taking, we're taking Hitmonlee then. Stay and train at Karate with us. Um, maybe in the future, but I've got some important business to take care of. And anyway, seeing as we have got ourselves a new Pokemon, let's have a quick read at your Pokedex entry, if I can find you. I've gone way past you, haven't I? Yes, I have. Hitmonlee. Hitmonlee, the kicking Pokemon. The legs 
freely contract and stretch. The stretchy legs allow her to hit a distant foe with a rising kick. I don't know, maybe I will potentially try out Hitmonlee at some point, but... But for the time being, that's not going to be something I will look into doing. Uh, I will, I'm not going to look at uh, doing that right now. But I think for the time being, we are done seeing what Saffron has to offer, mainly because most of the buildings that we can go into, Team Rocket are blocking. So, uh, actually, you know what? Before we head into Silphco, let's just have a quick peek. What level are you, just out of curiosity, Hitmonlee? And what moves do you know? Let's have a look. Uh, let's just move Pokemon. And there you are. Let's have a look. Oh, you're level 25. All right. Quite high level. Okay. Your ability was, is Limber. Prevents Paralysis. Just like that Ditto I caught uh, in an earlier episode. Rolling Kick. Jump Kick. Brick break. Actually, you do know some decent fighting type moves. What's your attack stat like? 68. Yeah, that's no surprise. So, actually, that might. I don't know. That could potentially be tempting. Just don't know whether I would find much use for a fighting type Pokemon going forward. Maybe? Depends whether you would be better in terms of just general fighting moves, whether you'd be better than uh, Primate. Anyway, seeing as I'm in the Pokeball Center, we might as well heal up uh, our Pokemon. Not that I needed much healing, but you know, might as well get a Charizard all refreshed. And I think on that note, I think it's now time to see just what is going on here. Why are Team Rocket all over the place and... Why are they interested in Silphco? Although, considering they... Um, I was going to say, did they... Yeah, they did have the uh, the Silphscope. That's right, they did uh, steal the Silphscope, you know, to see the ghosts. So, they were obviously interested in this uh, company. So, yeah, might as well see what the deal is. So, while you stand there uh, snoring, I'm going to have a quick peek inside and see what is what.